Hello YouTubers. Okay, there is a problem known in, in the physics and the electronics world, okay, that basically says that basically says that when this capacitor is fully charged and it's connected to a capacitor that's fully discharged. Um, for example, if this has 10 volts in it and this has zero volts in it, and when you connect them together, the 10 volts here drops to 5, and the 0 volts here goes up to 5, until, until they're balanced out and exactly equal at 5 volts. And when this happens, that these 5 volts in each one is actually half of the energy left in the system. Uh, which is true for the most part. So that part of it is definitely right. And then, but... The problem is that we are left with half the energy, but we are missing the other half of the energy. Okay. Now, there are other solutions out there that, you know, they explain where the energy went. And, and most of the claims are that the energy has just vanished in the, in the heating. Okay. Uh, mainly like I guess in the inductance of the capacitors and there's all sorts of explanations and they use all sorts of like f math and formulas and calculus and that's just you know for the novice who don't who doesn't understand like math math formulas you know are, they're not going to understand what they're saying the solution is okay I have this little formula right here but you know th that's just there to look pretty okay we're not even gonna like be looking at this okay but I mean if you really want to know that this is just the the formula to calculate how much energy is stored in these capacitors um, which is uh, in the form of joules uh, and a joule is just one watt second and so a joule is a form of power measurement so, I mean, if you really wanted to, I guess you can use this to find out how much power is stored in your capacitors. But anyways, the problem is that there is no really great explanation on where the missing half of the energy has gone to. But I'm going to explain it in a way where we don't need uh, formulas or anything like that. I'll describe it in an easy way. It's real easy. Uh to see where the half of the energy has gone to and how we can see it um, okay now when you put a, a load okay in between the two okay here I just moved this this is just the switch I moved up here and the loads down here it's something similar that I already have done on a previous video where I put a motor in between two capacitors and uh, and uh, the voltage is actually did not equal out they actually ended up above half but that's a whole nother story you can go look at it uh, in my video list I think it's under Maxwell capacitors discharging and charging so I mean if you want you can look that up but anyways uh, when you put a load now in between the two things start to change a little bit um, so I made some measurements here and uh, this took me a really long time but uh, because I went minute by minute for like an hour and a half uh, to uh, do find out amp hours and watt hours. And I calculated all of this because I wanted to know how much power was contained in the system. And I came up with watt hours and uh, amp hours. <clears throat> well, I didn't do the amp hours. But I did just the watt hours. And I show it here and here. And so the tests that I did was the first thing I did was I found out how much power I could get out of just one capacitor. So this <clears throat> is just to show, you know, if you put a load on a capacitor and you drain that capacitor all the way down to zero, okay, then we've used basically all the available energy in that capacitor, which is 100% of the energy just used up and running the load until the the load runs down okay and that's to find out you know so we have like a reference point basically now now I'm about to explain where half of our energy has gone it hasn't gone anywhere the load 
is actually getting half of the energy when you transfer your energy from one capacitor to the other with the load in between that is actually 50 percent of the energy and so that is my solution as to where the energy has gone and hasn't gone anywhere it's just that we never accounted you know we never put a load in between the two so we can see where that energy is going and so uh you know now there's going to be some resistive losses uh, that's normal in the real world there's resistive losses in the motor windings here maybe in the connecting wires um inductance in the capacitors the capacitors resistance uh, you know that that's all normal and there is some energy loss there you know there's a certain percentage it's not huge but for the main part mostly you know in general you're getting like half the energy here from the transfer from here to here through the motor or whatever load you're using okay so when these have equalized the half okay so you're now left with a quarter of the energy here and then you're left with a quarter of the energy here and so that is the half of the energy that we are left with like that and the other half is used during the transfer from one capacitor to the other so that's 50 percent and then you're left with 25 percent here 25 percent here which is the other 50 percent so basically 25 percent here 25 percent here that's 50 and then 50 is the other half during the transfer from one capacitor to the other and it's essentially the same thing as just running it from just one capacitor where we used all of the available energy at 100 percent it's the same thing 50 here 25 and 25 there it's the same thing as this so um that's the uh solution that i came up with so you can physically see uh by putting a load in between the two capacitors uh, you can see where that energy has gone to it hasn't vanished but it's remained inside of the system so uh, I hope you like that solution there might be somebody out there who doesn't really who's seeking an answer to like you know where the missing half has gone well this is like the best explanation and I've measured it and I have the power curve charts for it you know the discharge curves I measured it and that's pretty much what is going on so uh, please share this um, if you like it and uh, I'm sure others out there might find this useful and thanks for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video